Hello, everybody. I'm continuing my Nightingale playthrough. The last time I played, I left off in the Forest Realm. I ran across the map to see the Essence Trader here. The portal's way down to the uh, southeast. And there was a fellow there named Aurelio Acevedo Ortega. Did he give me a quest? I forgot. A Realm Walker's Initiation. Complete all of the following. T1 Essence can be acquired by completing encounters in an Antiquarian, Astrolab, or Provisioner Realm. Upon exiting the Fey Portal, I met the Realm Walker Aurelio Acevedo Ortega. He seems quite un unmoved by the calamity. However, he believes his colleague, Nelly Bly, could help me reach Nightingale. Before he'll give me her whereabouts, he asked that I complete the, Real the Realm Walker's trials. The same he was asked, he was tasked with when becoming one years ago. Oh, it tells me my rewards I would get for completing the quest. A spyglass. <clears throat> A simple upgrade bench and some other stuff. Alright, well, I just need one more T1 essence, and I'm sure to acquire that on my journey back to the portal. He's standing next to the portal, by the way. I looted all this already. Well, one interesting thing was I noticed there was a bench. I think I built it already. Well, I started to build it, and then Lena kindly finished it. She had some resources and she d deposited it to finish. This workbench was incomplete. It was like the blueprints were here, but we helped build it. And I guess that's part of what you want to do with these little settlements. Maybe you have to help the NPCs build up. I wasn't given a quest to do it. and Nobody asked me to help them, but just did it. I think I've purchased everything I could off of Werner here. Um, he wanted the tier 1 essences, unfortunately. Now, I gathered a whole lot of essences on the way to the trader. And I spent one too many. That's why I'm, I'm still short one tier 1 essence. So I'm going to head back to the southeast. Right? Yeah. We completed this occupation this one. There's a Fey Tower here. Um, maybe I'll I'll go east and then come to the river here. Maybe I'll just come east across the river and then south and explore what's around this area here. That seems logical. I think I'm running short on marbles for my crossbow. Let's see. Oh no, I have plenty. I'm going to raise the sounds a little bit. I noticed in the last recording the sounds are a little bit quiet. And there are nice sounds in the game. Nice. There's a nice like the, the background music is really nice, first of all. I like to listen to it. And the sounds of all the um, background stuff happening. Where is the sound? This is display. Graphics. Oh, audio is right here. I'll raise the I'll raise it up a little bit. And I'll just talk a little more loudly just in case. But I'd like you to be able to hear the ambient sounds and the background music because it really adds to the game. Same with Enshrouded. And of course Valheim had that great music. I rarely, if ever, listen to um, third-party music when I play games on the computer. I listen usually to the game's music, unless it's unbearable. I'm 
remember the days where there were no headsets really. You had your computer speakers, the speakers that either came with your setup or... In my case, I, I upgraded my sound system to almost be like a sound system you would have in an entertainment center, just like speakers and, you know, the whole room would be filled with sound from your game. Of course, it, uh, my parents were good about it. I mean, they let me keep a drum set in my room, so listening to me playing video games is nothing compared to that. Alright, this looks interesting. But, uh, what's here? Just some... Just some pigs. We can deal with the pigs. Susie's a druid. Let's help her out. I wish there was an auto or something. Lena is helping me now that she's equipped with a weapon or a tool. Don't really have weapons yet at this point. That might be the next step in my crafting. To build actual weapons. Alright, so this is a simple smelter blueprint. Here's the campfire blueprint. This is a whole structure. Let's talk to the druid and see what she has to say about this place. Aid fellow survivors. It's a group activity, one to six players. A survivor nearby needs your aid in completing a structure. Help them complete the structure for a reward. Indeed, let's begin. This is fun. Uh, so yeah, Lena, keep cutting wood. Good job. I'll help out with some wood cutting. I discovered last recording that that seemed to be the best bang for your buck. The fallen logs, the ones on the ground, you whack them once and they drop two or three bundles of, uh, of wood. There's a lot of structures around here. That down there is probably an occupation. Yeah. What's that? So here's why I need the spyglass. I'm not going to go do that yet. Let's build up here. Let's help Susie first. I don't want to cut on the bottom part of the hill, because then it's just going to roll down the hill. Let's cut on the, on the east side. On the level side. something snarling or some sort of bad guys. Okay, here I'm getting heavy. Let's bring this up. Well, she already built the blueprint, so all, all we have to do is supply the materials. Uh, let's do these first. Built that. What does this need? Now this needs stone blocks and rocks. We'll work on that next. Rocks for this. 54 of 84 wood bundles so far. We need sticks and plant fiber. A lot of them. Now I'm going to get some rocks and stone blocks next. I think 
rocks are a byproduct of chopping the uh, stone blocks as well, so you don't have to necessarily go around looking for these little outcroppings like this. Yeah, uh, little sandstone blocks. So yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe that's not the case, but I could have sworn, you know, it was probably because I hit that and then I go around to try and pick up the sandstone blocks and I wind up picking up rocks like this. Maybe that's the case. Lena has a, a mining pick. She has my makeshift wood axe. Maybe I took her mining pick. I did. So if I give her this mining pick. And then I have to make her equip it. She should start to gather stone and things. Let's see. What does she have in her inventory here? Uh, well, nothing. Wait, she did take some ore. I don't know if she had this or not, though. She might have had that already. Start mining, Lena. That. Was this recently built? Smelter is good. Campfire should be good. What else? A lot of wood, sticks, and plant fiber. Uh, Lena can go back to her axe. I should make a better axe for her. She still has the first makeshift wood axe. such ugly characters in a game. I mean, I like the setting, and I like the, uh... I mean, it's all good, except when you look at their faces, basically. You know, like, it's got that Mary Poppins type of... You know, they dress like... With the... With the you know, with those old dresses and suits. They're all, like, fancied up. But then you look at their faces and they're all busted. There's something wrong with me down there. Let's see how I'll check it out. In a I'm tired. Your eyelids droop and your muscles ache. You won't be able to push on much longer without rest. Maybe I could build a little bed or um, something to rest here because I don't want to go all the way back to my realm and then come back here. Although, you know, it's just going through portals, but if you look at the map, like, I'm not anywhere near the portal, so I'd have to run all the way here. Now, there is fast travel. Not sure if I tried that yet. I might have tried it once and was, was unable to do it for some reason. Oh, come on, little baby pig. Let me 
You know what I can do? I can eat a little bit. Usually I have the cooked, the cooked meat and the mixed vegetables. That puts me about three quarters food for about 12 minutes. Uh, Lena probably has a bunch of resources on her. Let's see. Uh, no. What is she doing? She just chops them and leaves them on the ground, I guess. I've got so much stuff in my inventory besides the resources I need to collect, so it's becoming a problem. Another thing I really should do is build a little chest to temporarily store things. Almost enough wood bundles. Let me see if I can put a chest down. Uh, what was it? V? B? B. Storage. I could make... Uh, an angling basket. Place it right here for now. I need plant fibers. Sticks and plant fibers are pretty easy to gather around here. You really can't miss them. Not enough stamina. Yeah, I need to rest. Could I build a bed? How about just a bedroll? I think I can. Where should we put it? Mm. Alright, let's take a short rest. Mm. That did it. My energy went up. Storage basket built. These are recipes, I guess. This is a vegetable. Forget the stuff. Oh, the wood bundles I need. Wood bundles are done. I need sticks and plant fiber. I wouldn't be against the game having sort of like a uh, a harvest system instead of having to go around like this and clicking on everything. I mean, I'm okay with it, but the game is gorgeous. But I, s I seem to spend most of the game looking down at the ground like this. You know, unless I'm just taking in the sights, but then I'm not really being productive. What I would suggest is that when you s like, you could have like resource-rich areas, almost like nodes. And uh, 
when you get near one, you could just have your character, you know, hit, hit, re hit, um, harvest, or gather resources or whatever. And then you would just see, like, a quick animation, maybe, of your character going around and collecting whatever resource you needed. And it would take, a, you know, a second or two, whatever. Or you could, you could watch it to be more elaborate in an animation. Or you can just cut past it if you're in a hurry and you just want to play the game. And then you have your resources so you can go on to your crafting or building, whatever you need to do. See, all this, not so much fun. And it could give you a headache after a while. Ow, clean up. These are the tier one essences that I needed for the quest. So I certainly have more than 25 that I need. Uh, it's raining, I want to equip my umbrella. Oh, that's built. Or well, the bottom part, anyway. Now the top part needs wood bundles. 26 wood bundles. Oh, I might need scaffolding. Sticks for the rest of the... I don't know why I keep pressing escape. implemented, but, and, you know, it was a train wreck of an MMO, but Shrouded Shrouds of the Avatar, I tried it shortly just to see if what everybody said about the game is true. Look out. Uh, but anyway, the point I wanted to make about that is it had a pretty neat overland, the game, it was like two parts of the game. You When you travel over the land, you would be on a map and you would kind of move from place to place, almost like the dragon... What was it called? It, the, um, no, I can't remember the name of, the, of those games. Uh, it had a, the name Dragon in it. And it was, uh, you know, it's like a Japanese CRPG. And you travel over land and then you might get hit with like a random encounter and then you would come into the actual world and do your thing. In that case, it was a turn base, but in, if it was an MMO, you would be in like an area like this. It's not immersive, obviously, that, uh, it's just a different style, but I thought it was a cool idea, just not exactly a game altogether, it's not really well implemented. It's had good vision, I think, to start, and then it went astray. I think it's what's happening with um, Pantheon. Rise of, Rise of the Fallen, but I don't know, I haven't played a second of that game, I've just watched some footage. I'm starting to take damage from the weather here. What's he doing? She's still working.
that would wind up all the way over there inside the hill. It was quite a bit of a view back then, I think so. What did this one need again? I think I'm collecting the wrong resource. I think it needed sticks. Yeah. I, oh, I was getting the sticks. So this is built. Nice. And this needs the bundles. Almost there. Six more wood bundles. She has them. Nope. Wood.
Expedition of the Realms. Quartermain's Diary. What is life well lived? For myself, a life of quality lies in the nomadic impetus to explore and to experience our world with the senses given to us by glorious evolution. It is this impetus that compels me to helm another expedition into the wilds. Hudson Gordon had but to mention the desert realms before I found myself accepting with unwise haste. Hudson desired to map the desert realms, but lacked the more tangible skills of realm walking. Knowing his own faults, he also enlisted the help of Eilish Ni Mayothane, botanist and seasoned realm guide. Perhaps this trip will harden his soft heart, for realm walking is no flight of fancy. Excitement builds in my breast at the thought of the realms. Truly one could not imagine a worse fate than being shackled to a desk in the Diogenes Club. I found a seed. Saskatoon. So this gardening. Looks like we did it. For some reason I can't talk to this. wasn't a quest. How, what was the key? Oh, H puts away everything in your hand. Maybe I had to put away everything in my hand first? No, she doesn't want to talk to me. What gives? I thought we were helping her for a reward. Let's see, did I get something and not know about it? Farewell, Susie. Hope you like your new place. I knew that was going to happen. Alright, what can I leave behind? The stones and rocks. Those weigh a lot. Stone blocks. Carved stone, carved stone. Let's see, am I right now? I think so. 
No, I was gonna go east. But since I'm kind of falling way down, I think I may just go toward the portal. I'll go a little bit east and then south. I'm gonna go up on the hill and check this structure out and then take a look down just to see if maybe we missed building something. Maybe that's why I didn't get any reward. I don't think so. I think, we, I think we're done there. The reward, maybe it's like in a chest that I didn't look, that I didn't see. short rest here. Maybe I should do that. Jeez. And then I'll have some food. Did I get food poisoned? He sounded like he did. No, I didn't. I'm relaxed. Your rate of stamina and health regeneration are increased comfort of a soft bed rejuvenates you and leaves spirits high until you rest again. plan here is going to be to get back to the portal, complete this quest, see what Ortega has to say, and then get back to the advanced realm where my fort is, or my little hut, and see if I could upgrade some tools and or maybe make weapons. I'm not going to pass by or as long as I have the strength to carry it, I'm going to take it. This is 10 ore, I think. open up a, uh, another realm with that extra card that increases my harvest yield. I have to drop some of this stuff. I'm overweight. Sticks I could drop. Or, you know, maybe I can give it to Lena. Where is she? Give her the sticks, I'll give her some lumber. I'll give her the rest of this ore. Should be good for now. This must be gems. sidetracked harvesting stuff. Look at all the gems down there. I would like to explore this whole place, but I think I want to complete the quest first. And it's going to be dark soon.
find need the meat and the hide for the crafting. How do I know if Lena is over or he has her capacity? She's 13 out of 20. Let's give her some more stuff. Give her all the heavy stuff. That's what's making that noise. Huge ghost deer. There seems to be a lot of them. I don't get near them because I don't want to find out what it does. I don't know if it's just a passive thing or if you get near it, it tries to kill you. But it comes in handy when you need wood bugs because it knocks these trees over. Come on, Lena. Is there a way to call her? Carry a lot. Alright, that's enough resources. Let's just skip everything else and get down to the portal before it's pitch black. I'm gonna have to cross this ravine. Not this way. I'll go around, up and around this way. This world was reddish orange to begin with, and now that the sun goes down, it, it, it's got a really nice look. I marked this on the map on my way to the trader, because that was this little building across the way here. I was going to try and check it out.
It's nothing but a hut. It might not be a bad idea, though, to spend the night. Interior junk. Picked up carved wood. Carved wood, alright. Take a simple bedroll. And take a long rest. of that irritant, Hope. Before we met them, we were utterly different. We'd been created, yes, in a particular disposition, but our creators were artists, and we art, living art, formed from their own Empyrean. So to now, me, then, me is incomprehensible. Like looking at a memory of an etching through a scratched lens. Even these words, lens, scratch, etching, memory, looking, all of these were impossible, foreign to our pre-encounter existence. We were separated from one another, mostly, but like raindrops running down a glass, it only ever felt momentarily, momentary. Flowing together was ine inevitable, we thought. Today, of course, we consider ourselves quite, quite separate. I was contemplating a lunar system at the time, I remember, and I had been for distance ages, perhaps everywhere, forever. But an arc was worrying at my lamia, and I went to realign it, restrain it, and bring it into my, my arrow, order, system. The concepts weren't there. Anyway, in grasping it, I came to recognize that it too had an inherent system, simple but fascinating. And it was my integument, in, integum, integument, that collapsed. I don't know that word. I slowed dimensions to understand, focused down, and became as I am now. And that was my first encounter with the humans. Well, that was a really weirdly written passage. Hard to read, hard to understand. I guess there are no enemies here. Southeast. What's that?
possibly there's nothing to do here. I don't have the tool to harvest that. Discoveries of bellows. What's that? Bellows? Is that a. Far from the quest now. Should I get down this way? Yeah. It's an odd looking tree. Better aiming without the iron sights. This is right clicking. It's better just to use the regular crosshair. Bones hides. What is this stuff? I need a better pickaxe to mine it. Some sort of resin. What oh, should be down here? Ah, oh, it's south now. Let's go down to the shore and follow the shoreline. The water and the waves look cool from up here. A steel of insight. Nest. <laughs>
symbol. It's different than this one, right? this call? Oh wait, there's something else here. Oh, I see. That's how it's all that I have to investigate these symbols. There's another one. Resolve and fusion. I'm an efficiency card. That wasn't a card. I think those things are like uh, blueprints too. down this way. When I get back to the house, I need to cook some more food. Got plenty of meat to cook. Big damage. Here comes another one. How did they see us here? If I gave Lena a, a knife like this, if she would cut up the carcasses and gather these things. There's nothing I have to do when I get back to the house is build her a whole new set of the simple tools. She's using the crude ones. Simple drinking horn. Yeah, these are like blueprints to craft. Is this an ingot? 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 
Ignite. Metal. portals that way. I could try to go through the water. But there's something here. Seems to do 150 damage. There was one shot that did 1,000. hands coming out of the stone and that's like a head. Weird. Okay. I really like the world building in these realms. Varied, like the topography is varied. There's, there's a lot of up and down. You got to climb. Um, there's water, waterways, streams, you know, rivers and stuff. And um, the colors seem to be different. I mean, really, the second one I've got. spiders. It's a big spider hole. All right. So it looks like our weapons are still able to kill these things. So I'm afraid. I'm going to venture on into something where I'm going to have to upgrade weapons and armor before I can do it. But let's see. There's something over here. It's a cave or some sort of entrance. See, I need better tools for harvesting here. Which tells me that I probably need better weapons to kill whatever's in here. This 20... Oh, no. Does that mean it's, like, equal to us? 20, like a 20 gear skill? That I would like to know. I can't do anything. Oh, okay. He's got my weapon. So. Fix, fix, fix. I'm picking up chitin. What other resources for these spiders? Chitin from tier 1 bug. And fabled meat. I guess that's good. Should we press on, Lena? Let's press on now that my weapon is fixed.
That's the chitin. This is the meat. Tier 1 essence. I mean, we're doing fine here. I feel like I should keep going. Maybe a torch might be good. Let's see. Um, unequip. Did I even bring a torch? Yeah, I did. I have a bunch of them. Does that even help? Not really. Definitely have to upgrade my tools and weapons. This is nothing up here. Or is it? Maybe I have to build scaffolding to get up there. Or to another ledge someplace. Is scaffolding a thing or is that enshrouded? I can't remember. Acevedo Ortega, returning again to seek a bit of realm walking wisdom, are you? I've completed your first trial. Ah, that explains you marching up like a peafowl. Have you plundered essences from the Fey Ruins? I have, though not without trouble. It's called the trial for a reason. Part of your reward, I've given you the final essential realm walking tool, a Red Cross surveying spyglass for scouting threats along, among the wilds. I have fond memories of my first spyglass as a boy. Handle yours with care and let it bring you near that which hides far. As for those essences, could you feel the radiant energy resonating from them? Let's hope so, for they will become vital in your second trial if you're ready. What can one do with essences? These ethereal gems are invaluable resources. Forging weapons, tools, or gear using essences is a sacred act, which serves as a contractual agreement. They imbue their energies into that which otherwise holds no magic. This is why the factions of Nightingale find immense value in these scattered materials. Each seek those essences which serve their respective occult arts. Traveling about the realms, you'll find their traders who accept rare essences in exchange for worthy schematics and treasures. Uh, I'm not ready for my next trial. I'm going to go back. 
Let me go back first. Portals in standby. You can reopen this portal, close the portal if you wish, to play realm cards. Close the open realm card machine. You can reopen this portal. Close the portal if you wish to play realm cards. wants us to do. I guess I have to complete his quest before I can go back. Now I can't reset it, I can't open it. And I just trapped myself in this realm. Let's see what he has to say. I'm ready for my next trial. The second trial is a truer test. The objective is to match survival prowess with your penchant for exploration. Realm, realm diving is the way of the walker, after all. Best have your realm cards at the ready. History is in your hands. Are you a realm card scholar or something? I'm the world's leading expert on the subject. While I sound full of hubris, the, the truth is they used to mock me for studying what was considered to be an obsolete means of interrealmic travel. To be honest, I'm amazed to see you have other recipes. I take it as a good sign that their use is becoming ubiquitous again, despite the trials necessary to acquire them. It's as if the echoes can tell. Any questions about realm card theory, I can answer. After your trials are complete. You haven't told me what the trial is. This trial, unlike the last, requires some preparation. It entails a touch more danger, and you'll need to be well equipped. You'll need to improve one of your tools by crafting upgrades and infusions made from essence and a bit of dust. A fine use for what you scrounged up in your last excursion. Then comes the trial proper. With tool in hand, seek out a Fey Tower or underground sanctum. At the culmination of any such construct, you'll find an artifact of great value. Claim it and return it. Should these 
Wilds weary you in the interim, seek respite before pressing on. Respite. That pocket watch is truly a thing of wonder. In addition to being an ornate timepiece, it contains a magical fail-safe mechanism which allows its wearer to instantly travel back to a single location. They used to port ex explorers back to Nightingale, but that tether has severed. With some adept fiddling, the location can be changed and attuned to your estate cairn, though I don't advise doing so too often. Lose that watch, and you'll be high and dry. Carry it for whatever vileness out here has developed a taste for man's flesh. No more explanation necessary. Simon understood. Remember, these face sites have long been abandoned by their ar architects. But they are not without plentiful dangers and oddities. If you decide to brave a tower, you'd be remiss not to experiment with the fascinating prowess of a realmic transmuter. Take this minor card and see for yourself. Realmic transmuter, you said? Indeed. A fey device, often found in their ancient sites, which, like their portals, can be directed with the use of realm cards. Minor realm cards, to be precise, though our understanding of how they work is anything but. They have immense sweeping effects on the realm in which they are used, but it is hubris to think humanity can truly control the fabric of the Feywilds. Many theorize it is the user, rather than the realm, who has changed as magic alters their perception of the space they inhabit, allowing them to experience the world in new and confounding ways. Of course, I may be wrong, but the device may indeed bend the realm spirits to a singular will. Much in this field is less than halfway understood before its miraculous use becomes mundane. I'll be back once the trial is complete. I leave with you the Geo Arcane Eodon to ponder. Truths reveal themselves to those who walk with curious eyes. I shall ponder it so. Craft an uncommon upgrade. Okay, it looks like I'm using my pocket watch to get back home. Which is... Is it in the... Travel to Respite, see what that does. It's the pocket watch there. Return to Respite Realm. Are you sure you want to travel to your Respite Realm? This will leave this realm and may not have access to return. Wait, what? I want to get back here. The cards, are they used up when you put them into the machine? He told me to do this, didn't he? Hold on a minute. My cards are not in here. This is him. And he just told me that I could go back, didn't he? Let's see. Here's the journal. Diving head first. Upgrade an item to uncommon quality. simple upgrade bench. So I don't necessarily have to go back there. I could just make another little base here and do it to play it safe. I thought there was a, a record of the conversations, but I don't see Stand underneath here, will I be okay? Nope, I need my umbrella. Ella, 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 ella. Where is it? Oh, tell me. Oh, there it is. Equip. It doesn't work until I unequip the torch. Then I equip the umbrella, and it works. Yeah. Save at any time, or is it just that game saves? I think it's just game saves, right? Yeah. So I'm afraid to use my pocket watch, even though he said it's a, it's a thing. 
when I went to use it, it says you will leave this realm and may not have access to return. And if that's the case, I don't want to screw up my game. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to end the recording here. And I'm probably just going to gather resources around here, wood, sticks, stones, whatever's around, and put it into my little basket there. Maybe I'll build a couple of baskets. And I may just build a little base, like right next to the portal here. And then try to upgrade something like the quest says. It's the quest mark. I begin first. I just have to craft an uncommon upgrade. I did want to upgrade all of my weapons and all, all of my tools to try to get a weapon, like an actual weapon. I wanted to, I wanted to give some weapons to Lena. Maybe I could do that here. If it's going to be a problem creating another base here, which I'm not sure is, is what is expected. I don't know if the game wants you to build a base in every realm. I think that the Alliance realm, you know, your safe realm, where I first started, I think that's sort of like your home base realm when you go back to. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I said. I'm going to make the base. I'm going to complete the quest here. And then when I'm done with everything on this realm, that's when I'll use the pocket watch to get out. Alright, so that'll be next time. This is Nightingale. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time.